girl no more.
I'm here right now. Phone's gonna die, I only have 10% battery. That's not my dogs. All right. um, so we're at the 12 minute mark. Uh, I'm just gonna go until this dies. But um, don't assume that just because this video stops, the barking stopped. Battery's dead.
just for the record, um, this video is another, just another example of the farmers exercising their right to leave their dogs outside unattended for hours on end, at the same time simultaneously violating our right to peace and quiet next door due to habitual noise, ordinance violations, and, uh, I guess specifically habitual nuisance animal behavior. Uh, it is possible for them to legally leave their dogs outside unattended and for them to, those dogs to misbehave in a manner that is consistent with the violation of a um, of a different, you know, rule, which would be not to create habitual nuisance in the community. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. It's going to die here. So, this is like, what, video, like, 100 now? I mean, it's ridiculous. Part of that freedom to leave one's dogs outside unattended comes with an obligation or a responsibility to, to make sure that they behave appropriately. So it's completely reasonable for us to want, I don't care, and no one else cares if they leave their dogs outside. What we do care about is if they're left outside and they behave like this all day long or sporadically throughout the day. I mean, I, had, I just videotaped a two-hour barking ordeal. That's one-twelfth of my day the other day was spent listening just from that one particular instance. It was two, two hours long. I mean, that's crazy. That's unacceptable. And that was during dinner time. Um, you know, and, and just because I don't get a film of it doesn't mean that it's not happening either. You know, the whole point of these films is to show beyond a reasonable doubt that a habitual nuisance is occurring over there and it doesn't seem to matter how much film we collect uh, Pinellas County doesn't seem to want to in fact we've actually had the police and animal control tell us both that um, they just weren't going to enforce that they knew that, that while there is a law in the books that states that the dogs can't make a nuisance that they just weren't going to enforce it but they were going to enforce the law when it came to me documenting the animals. And I'm just wondering how is that fair? If they're going to bully me into a corner on documentation, why is it okay for them to then just not enforce rules? It's not even like it's like a discretionary thing. It's on the books. You can look it up, and no matter what, like, they... they when we didn't have an SPL meter involved, they said they, they couldn't tell how loud it was. When we had the SPL meter involved, they said they couldn't see the dogs. When we saw the dogs, and they said they were, we were violating, you know, something or another. I mean, it, basically, no one's looking out for our best interests. They're just looking out for their own ass. And they're just not trying to do anything about it. But, I mean, like, I didn't know this place was as trashy as it turns out to be, you know. Everyone else, all the officials just say, oh, it's quote-unquote the most po densely populated. I don't know if that's code for anything in a bureaucracy speak, but, you know, we moved here for peace and quiet, not for this. And all we've been shown is hostility, abuse by county officials, and uh, just general negligence. No one seems to care about anything. So I'm not really sure, like, like, how, I mean, legitimate question. If they can't even protect me against a bullying neighbor who likes to leave their dogs outside to harass everyone day after day, how am I supposed to expect that y'all can protect me against ISIS? I mean, honestly.
a legitimate point. If you can't even, you can't even handle some dogs, like, but you, you want me to, like, trust you on other things that are way more intense and complicated? I mean, this is not that complex, and no one seems to understand that they can be legally leaving their dogs outside and illegally allowing them to behave in the manner that they're behaving at the same time. No one else seems to get that. But it's, it is possible to be, you know, within the confines by, of leaving your dogs outside. But once they actually start misbehaving on a regular basis, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're allowed to leave them outside or not. They're misbehaving in a way that offends other people. <laughs> so I, I, I just, I don't. The logic, I, I don't understand what's so difficult about this. And no one cares if they leave their dogs outside. What they care about is the fact that people, these dogs are habitually causing this type of noise all the time. And, like, the video doesn't lie. Like, I don't know how much video time you need, like, it, it takes to, like, determine that it's a habitual presence. But, I mean, I have, like, literally, like, a week's worth of video. Like, if you were to just stream it continuously, it's, like, a long time. <laughs> a lot of video. And I've been told one way or another why every single one of them just isn't quite good enough. And no one even takes the them as a whole and says, gee, I can understand that, like, well, I might have issue with this video or I might have issue with that. But there's a hundred of them. <laughs> Basically... There's no way around the fact that they leave their dogs habitually outside and they cause a nuisance. Period. End of story. Just, like, can you just, like, accept that and deal with it? Like, I don't... Like, you guys get pensions and stuff. Like, all I'm asking is for peace and quiet. Like, and all you've gotten out of us, honestly, is the complete opposite because you won't do a simple fucking request. Excuse my French, but honestly, I don't understand. <laughs> How is this so difficult? How does this day after day pass the smell test? Honestly. I mean, honestly. We're at 25 minutes. That's 1 24th of a day right now. It's been spent. Everybody listening to these dogs. How is that okay? That is completely unreasonable. I didn't ask to own those dogs. I didn't buy, purchase those dogs. And I damn sure didn't request to listen to them. Why should I have to listen to that? What right do they have to force their life on me? I mean, legitimate question. This is forcing their life on ours. So, like, because, like, they work a lot out of the house or something, I mean, from, you know, wherever, like, they don't, like, everyone has their own life. Everyone has their own issues. Like, I own two dogs. You don't hear my dogs bothering people. I don't understand why, like, their life somehow gives them this, like, you know, mulligan or like this like special excuse they don't have to like be respectful of anyone else's like, time you know what it's like to try to write or like to do anything at a professional or academic level listening to that and like it wouldn't even be as bad if the the barking it like tunnels through our HVAC system because these houses are Brick, or cinder block homes not very nice I just what because the area is not nice therefore like you're gonna just like let it continue to be not nice like I mean don't you want to like 
upscale this place at any point. I mean, you're never gonna, this place is never gonna be nice if you continue to let people like that ruin it. The people who lived here before us had an issue with them. The next door neighbor on the other side has an issue with them. And y'all just keep like spinning around like, I don't know, it just don't like, no one seems to want to deal with it. Anyway, I'm already...